Hey everyone, welcome to the first part of Let's Play Football Manager 2012 and this time we are going to be going Atletico Madrid. Yes, Atletico did indeed win the uh, poll. I started on Friday night, ended it on Sunday night um, and what I'm going to do is I'll show you to prove it. I will show you a screenshot of the poll at the end as it stood at, at that time. Um, I kind of stupidly put the uh, video as unlisted, like the the video to announce the uh, the video, like to say, you know, vote here as uh, unlisted, and so people were still somehow getting the link. I don't know if it, if it was because I posted it on Twitter or something, um, but yeah, um, I uh, I think I I don't, I don't think anyone actually voted on it to be honest. <laughs> um, it was all it was okay to be honest. There was like I think there was twenty votes in it. I was a lot closer than I thought to be honest. Um, you know, Leeds and Atletico, two different teams, but and two different possible outcomes here, um, but. You know, it, it's going to be Atletico Madrid, and you know I'm excited to go with different. <coughs> excuse me, go a different team for once, um, especially outside of England, because uh, I think that was what a lot of people wanted to see. A lot of people want to see a team not English. You know, like everyone seems. I mean, everyone because the majority of commentators, at least the majority of commentators I see, are English, and obviously naturally we're going to go English teams because that is the natural thing to do. But um, you know, I thought it'd be, it's nice to go someone different, and. I, I, when everyone suggested to me Atletico, uh, I just thought it was a really good idea. And I know I said I was going to do a championship team, but I will be doing leads in the future. I just wanted to see what people wanted to see first. It's simple as that. I don't know how many seasons I'm going to do with Atletico, so I'm just going to go from here. But uh, yeah, that, that's that's just a little introduction out of the way. Welcome. <laughs> so um, the first thing to do is go over the squad. Now, um, of course, like Liverpool, they did indeed uh, make quite a few signings over the uh, the summer so the transfer budget um, is slightly lower you know so it's you know they sign I'll go, go over the place in case you don't know them um, there is I'm not too sure your pronounce his name is it Courtois or Courtou I'm not too sure he is the Belgian goalkeeper he's only 19 but look at his value he's worth 8 million that's how much they pay for him um, you know they've brought in players such as Falcao uh, Ardar Turan I know that I know these are the people that they certainly brought in I'm not too sure about anyone else he brought in but looking at the players we certainly have uh, the two players I've brought only brought two players in uh, and that is Makeda on loan from Man United yes and he's he's done quite well so far and Paulo Ferreira as a sort of rotation option uh, from Chelsea I thought you know just in case we need a little bit of tightening up at the back which we don't but it's always worth having but you know looking at the players we've got we've got Courtois, Courtois I'm just calling Courtois for now I'm not too sure if that is the correct pronunciation but he is in just but a uh, few more weeks, so it's going to be Asenjo, who's uh, going to be playing, who uh, on FM11 signed for Manchester United, and not David De Gea. Um, we've got Luis Pereira, uh, Diego Godin, I think it is, Alvaro Dominguez, who I tried to sign in FM11, he looks like a decent player, Miranda, who uh, went to Chelsea on FM11, Felipe, who I think wants out, um, well, so I'll see, but he looks like a decent left-back, uh, Juan Fran, Mario Suarez, is it? I think uh, pronunciation this one is Cocky or Coke. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. Thiago, I think the former Chelsea midfielder. Uh, I think let's actually let's have a look. I might be wrong there because every there's a lot of people called Thiago. Oops, it is you know history. Yep, there you go. Just one season. Of course, he played at Chelsea, but he uh, scored some absolute crackers. I remember that. I remember uh, when uh, he scored past Man United. Mourinho's face when he scored was a picture. It was so funny. Um, Garby who's a decent player um, Ardor Turan who Liverpool were interested for quite some time in but obviously using the money from Sergio Aguero they brought him in Pizzi who looks like a decent young player Jose Reyes of course all Arsenal fans remember him Diego on loan from Wolfsburg a uh, very good Brazilian player there's my phone <laughs> it always it always bloody goes off in the middle of a commentary it never goes off any other time other than when I'm doing the commentary I swear to god uh, Diego Costa is injured Falcao, again, brought in from the uh, money from Sergio Aguero. He's a very good player. Again, I tried to sign him during um, my Liverpool save. However, it didn't really go to plan. Anyway, going over a few other things here. Fixtures. Uh, this is going to be an introduction um, video. I will be doing the Osasuna game next video. I was not I was a little unsure how long this one was going to be, but this is just, as I say, just a very quick intro, intro video. Um... We are in the Europa League. We did get through. Uh, we played a, I think, the Armenian team called Vaduz, or v I don't know if I can how you pronounce that, but rather embarrassingly, we did lose, uh, sorry, draw 2 2 away, but that was when um, our level, like, offense levels were pretty poor, so, you know, 
Uh, give us a break on that one. Uh, Drew with Lecce, then obviously when the fitness levels were higher, um, 5 0 at home, so that was okay. Fluminense put out a young team here, so ignore that one. And anyway, we played uh, Slo Slovan Bratislava and um, quite comfortably won there twice. So um, we are in the Europa League. We've got Metal Karkis, Metal Kar Metalus Karki, I was uh, say, when Everton played them a few years ago, I remember all my friends called them Metal Karkis. <laughs> uh, Dynamo Bucharest and Victoria Pleasant, who are in Chelsea's Champions League group, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, this is um, going to be the fixture list then. Um, yeah, <laughs> play Real Sociedad had back to back apparently. <laughs> not too sure how common that is in uh, in Spain, but yeah. Um, now my, my question to you guys is: Do you want me to do these Europa League um, videos? Would you like me to do these live? Because let's be honest, these are going to most of these are going to be fairly uh, just given results. You know, we're not going to. It's not going to be particularly difficult. Uh, Dynamo Bucharest might give us a decent game, but. I don't know. We'll have to see. But do you guys want to see them? I'm going to do the Metalus Kharkiv one just as like a test. Um, I don't know. If you like it, just say if you don't want me to do them because they're a bit of a waste of time and you don't want to watch them because they're already poor, you know, the poor games or the given results or whatever. So if you, if you do want to say, just say. Um, and yeah, I think that is it. So if we... I'm gonna. Let's see. How many what fixtures do we have? Um, the fixture times are all over the place. A lot different to the UK. Um, so, I, I'm not a massive um, follower of Spanish football. I do watch the occasional. Obviously, I do watch the occasional game. You know, so we all know of Atletico. Uh, of Atletico, I think they are certainly one team you do know about. Well, I Real Madrid, obviously, um, and the odd other player or team you might know, Valencia, Villarreal, etc., etc. But um, yeah, yeah, I just can't wait to play Barcelona. Anyway. Um, the next episode then this is just a quick intro it is going to be the first game will be against Osasuna this is probably going to be uploaded right after this so uh, just give me if you are watching this if, there, if it has just been uploaded please give me 15 or so minutes to upload it because my upload speed is rubbish <laughs> um, and yeah so uh, thanks for watching guys hope you enjoy this series and uh, hopefully I won't abandon this one halfway through this time <laughs> I'll uh, see you for the Osasuna, uh, Osasuna game guys goodbye for now